today. The band Night Ranger returns to Del Lago this Thursday night. We've been talking with drummer and singer Kelly Kagi about that. And uh, we had part one of that interview aired yesterday where he talked about his heart condition that kept him off the road last year. And you can see that on FossilRochester.com. This morning, though, he talks with our executive producer, Mike DiGiorgio, about the song you've probably got in your head as soon as we said the word, words, uh, Sister Christian. You mentioned Sister Christian. I know you've probably told the story a million times about what the song's about. I know it's about your sister. How was she with that song being what it was? As it came about in the early stages, the lyrics were Sister Christy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then uh, as it went along, you know, I, I had the chorus, you know, your motor and what's your price for flight, like that. Well, she didn't really understand, you know, that, it, that Christian was about her, so I explained to her that it was... It was definitely her, and and uh, you know it was it was about her growing up and you know cruising cruising for dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then at the end of the video, uh, the girls all get in the car with you guys. Yeah, see how that works. <laughs> bad, that's bad influence for a big brother, right there, Kelly. I <laughs> know, <laughs> and and the whole thing the whole thing about the uh, Catholic girls. I mean, it, I don't know where that came from. It was probably like a like a fantasy that the director had right you know hey yeah let's get some girls some catholic school girls it's like <laughs> what i mean half the videos back then had no made no sense at all but, but it was they were fun to make yeah 20 years before britney spears you guys were doing the <laughs> the Catholic yeah. girl, school girl thing. <laughs> uh, new music. I'm always, I've been following you guys for years. It's always refreshing that people are giving up on making albums anymore, but every couple of years, you guys are there. How, how, are, they, how are they selling? How are they coming for you? Well, I mean, I don't think it's about sales anymore. Right. I think it's just about keeping the awareness of the band out there. And plus, it's, it's just more for us to keep sharp. We want to, you know, we want to, we want to be creative. Every couple of years, we like to write a new album just because you know, we, and, and our hardcore fans too, you know, yeah. we, we like to, to, you know, to, we don't want to just be like somebody that just goes and plays all their old stuff. Sure. You know, we've never been about that. We've always been about, look, you know, we have to make a record for us. We have to keep, you know, being creative because if you start doing that, then you just, then it's like, why are we doing this? I can I mean, tell you. So that's that's really the reason that we just we, you know we love doing what we're doing and we we get in the room together and we we create and 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 it's it, you know it's still a joy to us and we just we just you know we love rock and roll. Good. Well, I can tell you the song High Road, which was an uh, album before last, has been a, a theme song of mine for the last few years. Uh, Love it, man. Yeah, I was on. Seeing how that works. I mean, you know, we just like the connection. Yeah, we I like was the connection to the audience. I was on vacation in Vegas. Uh, one of the handful of times I won. I'm driving through the desert in the car. That song was on the iPod, and it was just perfect. I think of it every time I go out. Awesome, man. That's that's great. Good deal. Um, for bands, you know, of your generation, you guys are doing. You do like these casino shows, and then a lot of times you're on some kind of double or triple bill hitting the, the sheds, the amphitheaters. Do you have a kind of show you're preferring to do these days? You know, um, any, any show is going to connect us, you know, with our audience. So it doesn't matter. I mean, we'll play clubs, you know. I mean, we just we just like to play together and we like to share that. I think what it's about is we connect on stage and then we just, you know, and then we connect with our audience. It's, 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 a, it's a great thing. So it doesn't matter where we're at. Sure. You know, if we're, you know, in a stadium or whatever or if we're in a... A little club, you know. Um, we go at it a hundred percent, you know. So it's it's not really about the size of the audience. Awesome. I do think you're going to like this venue. You, you missed it a year ago. We'll remind everybody. April 26th at Del Lago. Um, but before I let you go, I know you can't see it, but I'm going to hold up here for the camera. You, you probably run into the guys at shows who, when it's over, they, they get up close and they want the set list as a souvenir, a little piece of paper yep. to, to take with them. I a year ago, I did not get the set list. I actually have the cheat sheet that Fred used. He was filling in for you. I, ha I have the sheet that has your lyrics for when you close your eyes. I remember we learned about love in the back of a show. <laughs> I love it. As the geeky souvenir that I have saved. If you need this back, let me know, but I have a feeling you're probably okay. Please send it to me because, <laughs> you know, my brain is getting soft these days. And, <laughs> you know, and Fred, I got to tell you, Fred is such a good friend, and he, he, he was 
so gracious to come in and do that for me. And I tell you, um, at the end of the show that he did um, out on the East Coast, he held up his hands and he took a picture of it. And it was like, he had band-aids, his hands were bloody, blisters, everything like that. And he just held them up and I was like horrified. I was like, oh my God, oh, what the guy's like for bleeding you. for me. <laughs> Good for him. And, and what a great friend. Like I said, it was, a, it was a great show last year and I'm looking forward to, to being just that much better because you're going to be able to make it this time. I, I can't wait to get out there, man. Fantastic. We'll look for you. I will be there. Kelly, thanks so much, man. This, this was a big thrill. I've been a fan for many years. Thank you, sir. I look forward to meeting you. All right, man. Take it easy. See you out there. Only right. Mike DiGiorgio would have something like that in his possession. A cheat sheet. And then wow. hold on to it, protect it with like a little plastic sleeve. I wonder if it came in that, like that, though. Oh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. No, Mike is a preserver of uh, history, though, so I don't know, maybe he, only Mike DiGiorgio. And yeah. he's the best one for these interviews, honestly, he yeah. is. Because all I would be doing was asking about Sister Christian. And then just, motoring! Like, a motoring, <laughs> you know? And you thought. Sing the right lyrics, though. Yeah, this time, we'll <laughs> sing the right lyrics. <laughs>